Oh. Hi, I am Melissa. I am a kernel developer at Tigalia, and I am not an MD expert, but uh, I am not the only person that is not an AMD expert that want to talk about AMD. If you search on the internet, you'll find me in people like me that's trying to move some puzzle piece. And even if we don't know, uh, we don't know or we don't have all the pieces. So, but first I need to set expectations about this talk. Uh, I will not criticize code statistics like, oh, more than one million of lines of codes or uh, more than, oh, our function with more than uh, 50 param parameters or um, function name with more than 80 characters that's impossible to fit the kernel uh, code style and also plus if you <laughs> want to complain more like KML, KML case, Pascal case. Uh, I won't complain about the shared code approach of the display driver and I won't put a curse on AMD. So sorry. <laughs> so uh, being an AMD external contributor, uh, we need to start for, from something. And uh, I am not a good game player. So I started with a really simple game that is not a game. I started uh, from something that I already know that is the KMS test of the IDT test tools. Uh, and then I found something to fix. That was uh, the DRM alpha blend mode. Uh, so I checked all results of the IDT test and then I just selected something that I, okay, I have some backgrounds and I can do that. Uh, I suggest to you, I really, I strong suggest to you to follow traditional breadcrumbs like uh, check documentations, mailing lists, git history, uh, checking drivers from other vendors, we do that all the time, and uh, your experience. Uh, so I started from the usual path that is look at, for, I look at for documentation, and I found something very good already available uh, in the kernel uh, documentation. So I was positively surprised by that. For example, there is a diagram describing the display pipeline and some explanation of each hardware uh, block. And um, I don't see something like that in any other uh, driver in the DRM subsystems in the kernel documentation. It's, it's not uh, so... Uh, well detail as that uh, and uh, but uh, okay it's hard you will not memorize all these abbreviations and you will but at least you you will have something to back and forth for example three times in a day uh, when you are inspecting the four millions of lines of code oh sorry i will not <laughs> complain about that and there is a glossary at least oh so okay uh, you see, there is a glossary, a glossary there, and uh, but something that you need to take care of is this thing. Uh, the display core is divided into um, two components: the the DC, that is the OS agnostic part, uh, that is the shared code with other platforms, and uh, the display manager. Uh, that does the map between DC and DRM. Um, and understand DC can also drive you crazy. So this is my high level, um, my high level interpretation of the communication between DRM and DM. And it seems reasonable. Uh, but between DM and DC, uh, yeah creativity uh, <laughs> so 
Now, forget what I say, for, for, for what I said, forget the traditional breadcrumbs. Uh, you need to take an alternative perspective. Uh, so now I introduce to you the new Stack Overflow, the AMD issue tracker. And for example, in this issue, I found valuable information um, for the bugging that issue uh, related to DRM uh, alpha blend mode. And uh, I was also able to uh, enable another blend mode uh, that uh, was not supported by the driver previously. So by reviewing the enablement work, I, you know, I joined the group of AMD no experts. Uh, and um, uh, what, what, what we had that time, we had two, uh, two issues in the AMD issue tracker that took seven months to, to be solved. And uh, at least what I did was I, I collected all this knowledge learned during this process and I converted that to uh, AMD documentation, more uh, AMD documentation for future works. Uh, so if you are brave enough to examine the DC code, you can waste a lot of your time chasing calls that go nowhere. For example, that call, uh, I lost many times of my life trying to figure out what it's doing and it does similar things from another call and right now I don't know what it's, why we have two so similar uh, functions uh, in the DC driver. And uh, so there are functions that are, are never called, but also uh, kernel documentation not exposed in the kernel documentation. And mm, the first thing that we uh, that come to your mind would be, oh, we need to get rid of this announced code. But wait, uh, uh, actually, we are in a pool of uh, features asking to be enabled. And uh, for example, uh, we can see that uh, there is a 3D LUT post blending support that is something that I am working right now, but other color correction uh, capabilities. And I also see uh, right back support somewhere too. So the, ha the hardware is capable to do all those things, but it's right now just uh, in the same status of my internet connection in Cape Verde, the country that, where I live now. So what happened? Uh, it works very well when it works. And as annoying as the lack of internet uh, when in Cape Verde is seeing the amount of code in DC, in DC that is not connected to the DRM. So there are many things in the DC uh, that's not available in the Linux kernel. And we want it all. And we want to use it all. And I think AMD uh, needs to work together with the community and the community developer, of course, to make them available. And I think cats also always work, so please <laughs> collaborate with us. And uh, so, but uh, external developer need more transparency in their workflow. And for example, we have many questions when we are developing uh, new features or connecting things that is things that are already available uh, in the DC. Uh, for example, why was our chain not merged? Or it's breaking the support in uh, other platform? Or it's not supported by this specific hardware? Uh, how can I properly change uh, the shared code part? Um, is it, for example, sometimes, is it a workaround uh, to either the, the DRM or what is it doing? And um, so uh, another thing is, is maybe a public CI 
would answer part of our questions. So we can work on something like that. I don't know. And then um, another thing is I see, for example, GFX uh, in the GFX side um, somewhat uh, the uh, development oriented to the upstream. But in the display side, I think we can do better. I can improve. We, we can improve that. So and finally, uh, more documentations is always welcome. So is it complaints or questions? I think uh, this is just my personal comment because I guess I'm in a similar situation as we are. Old. <laughs> Not that it's really old, it's irrelevant. But um, I think one thing that the independent, like outside of the token vendor, which is a chip design company in this case, uh, one of the, I think, uh, challenges of being a, you know, an independent developer who doesn't work at the firm is you are severely restricted or limited in getting internal help. And what I mean by internal help is they have the hardware side people that have a lot of knowledge of how this works in the firm. People who work at the soft, uh, the software arm of the silicon vendor, if they're you know, properly functioning as a firm, they usually have access to the hardware side people. So they kind of collaborate and solve problems. That's where kind of the third party independent people are kind of excluded. And that's one of the disadvantages of being independent. Uh, and another thing to mention uh, is that harder people usually have a lot of access that they only really grant access to their internal software people, especially system validation people. And then because they expose those back doors, it can become a really hard risk to do. So that's a, again another part where you know you're at a disadvantage over the internal AMD software. So um, that's just you know just something to keep in mind. That that's how the hardware world works. That those internal you know software people have a lot of tools that independent people don't. So I just wanted to just add those two things. Uh, okay, was not a question. Was he was complaining. <laughs> and was about uh, the difficulties of being uh, external development and not have access to uh, specifications or details of the hardware. And in general, was that. Do you just want to join the development? Uh, uh, so, I mean, is the, are you looking to add a feature or do you plan to join the development long term? Oh, okay. The question is if I, okay, if my goal is just some specific features or if I plan a long term uh, development. Um, I don't know. I am. <laughs> I I think as much as we have things to enable in the AMD driver, and if I can uh, work on that to be uh, in an upstream shape, I think deserve to be there and to work or to collaborate. Maybe, uh, yeah, I have a specific target, targets right now, but uh, I don't think the you know, uh, the I, I, I after I finish something, some work, I think I will have more works and more, new targets, new goals. So I don't think it's something that will just stop after one thing. We have many things to enable. So is this the kernel work? You know, <laughs> never stop. We have many. 
things to worry about there. I, I, every time. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you.